Hello everyone. You've always wanted to become a wizard, but the owl with your Hogwarts acceptance letter seems to have got lost on the way. Has nobody invited you to break bills either? You're dreaming of making a career as an illusionist, but even your grandma falls asleep during your card tricks. Don't worry, because we're going to reveal to you today the secrets behind the most incredible tricks. Tricks that anyone can do at home. Now, put on your hat, stock up on rabbits, and abracadabra. Disappearing Salt we're going to start with a trick by Smoothini from America's Got Talent, which fascinated the judges. You might think, come on, it's just salt. What's so magical about that? But in the hands of a real wizard, even salt can do amazing things. First, the magician pours salt from the salt cellar into his fist, and then it disappears. Because I am ghetto. Whoa. A moment later, it magically appears in the other hand, and then again. Smoothini can do it with other substances too, not just salt. The drink from the glass of the judges acquires strange magical properties in his hands and suddenly begins to teleport. That is the name. Isn't this real magic? Actually, you don't have to pass exams at some magic university to master this trick. All you need to do is prepare a simple fake finger in advance. Magicians often use these kind of props, and for a reason. Watch his hands. When Smoothini opens the salt cellar, the fake finger is on his left hand, and after a second, it's in a tight fist. And now, if you look closely, the finger ends up on the thumb of the right hand. Voila! And again, it's clenched in his fist. He can keep repeating it as many times as he wants, as long as he has enough material and the audience doesn't notice the dexterity of his hands. By the way, Smoothini himself is drawing the audience's attention to the other hand like a true professional. What can we say? He is the real deal. Balloon Swallow Trick Many of you must have seen in the movies, and maybe even in real life, how illusionists swallow swords and other sharp objects that are not meant for eating. But we're not going to talk about dangerous tricks today, because an ordinary sword can be easily replaced with an inflatable one. Yes, swallowing a balloon is no less spectacular if you do it with a little creativity. See it for yourself. A huge rubber thing that's not supposed to fit inside a person, but the illusionist swallows it so easily as if the process weren't causing him any discomfort. Well, maybe just a little. The balloon even seems a little appetizing in the end. But what is the secret? We're going to be honest, it's all about preparation. Before you go on stage, you need to prepare the balloon by piercing it with a needle near the end. Not where you inflate it, but on the opposite side. You have to pierce it several times, very carefully, all the way through to get an even number of holes. The faster you want to pull the trick, the more holes you need. Once you're done with the preparation, you can move on to the trick itself. Itself. Inflate the balloon as usual, but be careful not to let the air get to the holes and start escaping. Meanwhile, you can talk to the public, make jokes, or do something magical to distract everyone from the balloon. Then all you have to do is put the ends that doesn't have holes in your mouth and slowly push the knot, rolling the balloon into itself. The air will come out through the holes, and the small deflated balloon itself will eventually fit in your mouth completely. Now you just hide it behind your cheek and talk to the audience. Like any other trick, it requires training, but once you feel in control of both the ball and your tongue, you may add a little fun and learn how to make special swallowing movements during the trick. Just don't swallow the props. Magical Oreo do you like Oreos? Of course, who doesn't love them? And how do you prefer eating them? Taking a big bite, or maybe as the manufacturers advise, dividing it into two parts and licking off the cream? Or maybe you shove a whole cookie in your mouth and then try to tell your family how your day was. Do you eat them with milk or coffee? Maybe tea or juice? Of course, there can be a lot of ways. Some people just eat the cream and then put the cookies back together and return them to the box. What a despicable thing to do. But don't worry, an experience 
convenience magician can easily return the lost cream in just a couple of seconds without magic gestures or spells or a magic wand. The cream just appears as if out of nowhere. But if you know your magic, you probably know that you can't just create something out of thin air. This rule always works, and this case is no exception. But you can pull this trick if you use special Oreos with marshmallow instead of cream. You can actually buy these cookies ready-made, but if you don't want to spend any money and your career as a magician is just beginning, you can also do it all by yourself. It's much easier than it seems at first glance. After all, marshmallows are very soft, which means that they can be squeezed to make it seem like there's no cream between the cookies, and then slowly relieve the pressure, and the filling seems to magically appear. The Chains of Death American magician Chris Angel is a well-known personality in the world of magic and illusions, and he can turn anything into a prop for his magic tricks, even the most ordinary chain lying in the backyard. This trick is often called the Chains of Death, and it's easy to see why. The magician wraps the chain around his neck, then hands over the ends to the audience or his assistant, and then, after a dramatic pause, he gathers all his strength and gives the order. Three. The chain is then pulled from both sides, but it just falls off the neck of the magician without causing him any harm and without breaking. Fascinating? Hell yeah! And imagine how much tension the audience feels. However, this trick is not as dangerous as it may seem at first glance. Like in any other trick, it's all about dexterity. The chain is real and can be made of the most durable material. The secret is in the way the wizard wraps it around his neck. If you look at it from the viewer's side, it seems that the chain has been wrapped really tightly around the neck several times, but if you change the angle of view and look from above, it becomes clear that the back of the chain forms a loop, so the chain doesn't encircle the neck at all, it just rests on it to create an illusion. Then you just need to convince your spectators you're risking your life. A few deep breaths, a frown, a sharp jerk, and done. You are an amazing true wizard. Neck Chain have you heard of an illusionist named Dynamo? He's an incredibly cool British magician whose performances made the public scream in awe. Meanwhile, skeptics don't understand how he pulls it off. And even after a few years, his tricks still seem incredibly cool. Oh my goodness. For example, this trick with a chain that literally cuts through the magician's neck. Please consider stepping away from the screen if you're faint-hearted, because it looks quite disturbing. Look closely. Here's the magician opening the chain, and voila, it's right under the skin. Oh, don't do that! Oh, oh. oh my god! And then it pops out without any skin damage. <sighs> oh, flipping egg tucker! But the most surprising thing is that there's a mint on the chain, and Dynamo just chewed it up. Real magic. But in fact, it's a little more complicated than that. And that's why it's more interesting. As you have already probably figured out, one of the most important aspects of any trick is the setup. Dynamo probably has some special secrets and supplies, but in this case, a simple glue stick will do. You need to apply it to the neck, and then press the chain or thread to the skin very tightly. It may be a little unpleasant, but magic does require sacrifice. Just a couple of seconds and it seems that the thread or the chain is literally cutting through your throat. Don't forget to show how much you suffer though. But what about the mint, some of our viewers will ask? Well, it's pretty simple. You'll need two mints, one for eating and the other one for hiding your hand along with the chain. You see, there's more chain in his hand than necessary. Well, the rest is just a matter of agility and practice. Coin Trick how can we talk about revealing tricks without a good old coin trick? Dynamo knows this too, so he learned how to deal with coins like a real wizard. Everything is simple. Here, he spins the coin. It rolls on the table in front of the magician, and the second the coin is ready to snap to the floor, Dynamo suddenly catches it on his finger, and the coin keeps spinning as if nothing had happened. What a remarkable dexterity! But it's more than that. You will also need some preparation. If you look closely, you can see that the nail on the index finger of the magician is different from the rest. And it's not a coincidence either, because the props are very important. To repeat Dynamo's trick, you need two coins. An ordinary one and another one with a little secret. A hole drilled in the edge. You need to fix a thin wire in this hole and then install it on a fake nail or just glue it to your finger with a double-sided adhesive 
tape. Now the coin will spin on the tip of your finger without falling off. But that's not it, because you still have to replace one coin with another at some point. To do this, you need to tilt the table imperceptibly towards yourself, spin the coin, and at the moment when it's almost on the edge, spin the other coin, the one on your finger. Don't forget to put your hand with the secret finger under the table though. Well, all you have to do now is raise it at the right moment and the trick is done. By the way, the coin on the wire stops almost immediately, so you can bring it to your lips and blow on it to make it spin longer. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.